I'm gonna cover four ways that your doggy can't get hookworms. What you're gonna notice if your dog has them, treatment and diagnosis. Hi guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're gonna cover hookworms in dogs. Hookworms get into dogs four different ways. Probably the most common things that we think about are when they you know, ingest a hookworm um, from another dog's stool, in the soil, uh, they lick their paws because there's a little bit of poop or a worm on, on, their, on their feet, and they lick their paws and, and they ingest it fecal oral, directly into their mouth. The other way they can do it that we think of is through their skin. So if a doggy is laying on the ground or walking on the ground and the larvae can get on the skin, the larvae can burrow into the skin and migrate into their body. And that's how doggies will get hookworms from through their skin and it actually can go to their intestines or it can go to like a muscle, like literally like a muscle, you know, right here. And it can go to the muscle and it can lay dormant for a while. And that leads me into my third and fourth way that hookworms get into doggies. Number three is they can get into doggies. Well, let's just keep them together. Just like a bear that's hibernating, they get woken up when there's temperature changes or other changes that are going on in mommy doggy who's pregnant. These worms then migrate from the muscles that they were camping in all the way to the puppies. If they show up early, they jump in during in utero when the puppies are growing. Or if they show up a little bit later, perfect. They're still all set to jump in through the mammary milk. Regular poop samples will make sure that your dog doesn't have any hookworms in there. Hookworms shed eggs, and hookworms themselves are really, really, really small. So I won't be able to see it with the naked eye, most likely. Hookworms get their name because their mouthpiece, where they go ahead and suck on the dog's intestine, looks like a hook. It has nothing to do with Peter Pan. But I don't, I don't know about you guys, that movie Hook was amazing as a kid. The most important thing you can do to help prevent the spread of hookworms is regular poop samples on your doggy, deworming your doggy on a regular basis because hey, it is super safe, and fecals don't catch everything. Remember, a fecal exam is a licensed technician, a veterinarian, a lab technician scanning through the poop on a microscope and you don't always find everything if the, wor if the worm isn't shedding eggs or if this professional just misses an egg on the slide. Nobody's perfect, right? So let's be careful. A veterinarian will treat hookworms with an anti-parasitic drug. It's usually a tablet, and a veterinarian may give it once or twice or a couple times, depending on how hard it is to get rid of the hookworms. So as the doggy owner, what will you see? Things that you may see is the worm is drinking blood from the intestinal tract. So in really, really, really serious cases, the dog may be anemic, like a low red blood cell count. As the worm keeps gobbling up blood, we may be lethargic, and we may see some bloody diarrhea. In cases where we've had these worms for a long time, we may have a poor hair coat or fur coat because we're failing to thrive and be healthy. I mean, human or dog alone, if we have a GI parasite, we're not going to be healthy, right? So now you're thinking, Dr. Dan. Oh, please tell me. People can't get this. I would love to tell you that, but unfortunately, people can get hookworms. The most common thing that a human will get is called ground itch. And it's just a lay term that means uh, the foot is really itchy. Your foot's really itchy because you got a hookworm in it. So let's say you go to the beach and there's dogs everywhere and they're pooping on the beach and no one cleans it up and you walk over it because your, your shoes are off because you're at the beach, right? And it, now, if it gets in your foot, it can, it can migrate into your skin. The good news is with humans, the, the worm just dies off and it doesn't go anywhere in most cases. In rare cases, it will spread from the skin and go into the body and it can spread to an organ or to an eye or really bad places. This is really, really, really rare. And I don't need to stress anybody out by mentioning this, but I need to mention it because it can happen. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any stories about hookworms that your dog had, please go ahead and share and comment. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribing if this content's helpful for you. 
would be amazing. And please check out some more videos. And if you want a certain topic, go ahead and comment below a topic that could be helpful for you or others. And um, I would love to comment on it. You guys have a great week. Have a great new year. Best of luck in 2021. And if you're watching this way later, which I hope you are too, um, whatever year it is, enjoy it.